Hey everybody and welcome to the Overly Gaming Project. In today's video, we are back. It's Fishing Sim World Pro Tour. And I believe this is episode number 16. Well, it is here. It is the Alabama State Championship on Lake Gunnersville in Alabama. It's three rounds, 20 minutes apiece. It's the sunrise part of the day, clear skies, and we are looking to catch some biggins. We are currently ranked first in the Bass Pro Tour, net worth almost three quarters of a million dollars. We have 22,800 followers and we are kicking everybody's ass. And I tell you what, if we go out and win this championship, there is no way that they can deny us a spot on the Elite Bass Tour. And that's exactly what we're going to try and do today. Lake Gunnersville. Here we come. All right, before we start fishing, I'm going to break it down to you guys. It's three rounds, 20 minutes apiece. It's going to be kind of a longer video, but I'm going to chop it up a little bit more than I usually do. And I'm going to tell you the strategy that we have today. When we get out on the lake, there's three spots that we're going to go to. Each round is going to have a new spot, a new bait, and we are going to kick some ass. I've done some testing, some practice rounds. Just like a real bass tournament, I am ready to kick the other fishermen's asses, slap them in the face with some fish, make fun of their mamas, whatever we got to do to throw them off their game, we're going to do it today. And if this is your first time to the channel, then welcome. And if you've been here before, then welcome back. And take a moment to ask yourself, am I subscribed to the Overly Gaming Project? And if you are not, what the hell are you waiting for? Go ahead and subscribe to the channel and hit that bell notification so that you're notified of all the content coming out on the channel. And if you like this video at the end, hit that like button. Any comments, leave them down below. Hello and welcome to the venue for the next event on the tour. While the competitors are getting ready for the action to begin, let's take a look at the rules for today's event. All right, we all know the rules. It's the best five weight of bass for each round round one of three getting ready to kick it off here lake gunnersville alabama let's go oh here it is round one the sun is coming up three two one let's go get in the boat but hang on you know what we got to do let's take a look at the map all right here's the map we are going to start all the way down the bottom i don't know what this boat ramp is called but it's the one all the way down the bottom and that's where we're going to start and i have got a hot spot that you guys are going to want to take note of here we go all right let's get in the boat all right the first hot spot when you leave the dock you want to turn to the right it's it's a common hot spot for lake gunners well everybody knows about it it's this bridge down here you just come on down to this bridge and you circle around you can park your big old boat right here and you can get out and you can turn towards this bridge and you can start fishing now let's take a look at the uh inventory that we have in our tackle box all right we are going with the heavy hitters proven baits the ones that catch us the big ones on the spinning rod we got the bubble gum 4.8 inch stick worm on our first bait caster we have got the red crawfish rattle trap and of course on the second bait caster we have got the booyah buzz bait in black all of these are on sunline uh super fc sniper 14 pound fluorocarbon and this is, this is the setup that we're going with. It's going to catch us a ton of fish, I have no doubt. All right, we are going to start with the buzz bait. All right, here we go. Cast this thing right towards this bridge. 90% cast strength, not bad. And you're going to want a level 2 retrieval here, just like in the other videos. If you haven't watched the other videos, watch them. All right, level 2 retrieval. Just start bringing it back towards the boat. And there's a couple other spots down here that I'm going to show you. But first, let's try and get on the board. With a nice big fat bass. All right, that cast was a dud. I'm gonna try it again. 95% cast strength. All right, let it sit for a second. Count to three. And start reeling it back. Constant retrieval, level two. Now you're gonna see some fish swim by. If you don't see some fish swim by after a few casts, it's gonna be time to change it up a little bit. Lower your rod tip all the way down for this. All right, second cast is a dud, but don't give up. Because you're going to catch one. All right, here we go. 95% cast strength. That was pretty good. Level 2 retrieval. Constant retrieval. Rod tip is down. Come on, fishies. Oh, I see one swimming around. Here's another one. Wow, they are all circling this thing. Some big old bass. All right, so you know the fish are down there. 
Just keep on trying. 100% cast strength. Alright, let us sit for a second. Here we go. Constant retrieval, level 2, rod tip down. Oh, ba bam! Oh, that fish jumped right out of the water. Here we go. Fish on! Alright, fish on. That's a big old bass. Don't want to lose him. Lower the drag a little bit. There he is. Look at how fat he is. Sorry, I don't mean to make fun of him, but I mean, shit. This is a fat bass right here. Come on. Come on in the boat, fat bass. Wow. Look at this. It took us a couple casts to get him on, but we got him. Now here he comes in the boat. Oh man, that's a beautiful fish. That is a four pound, 14 ounce spotted bass. And we are on the board. Let's get back in there. All right, we are on the board. 15 minutes left to go. And we have got to catch ourselves some more bass. This is the championship. And we have got some competition here. Looks like Oliver Jansen has a seven pound, seven ounce worth of fish. We are currently in ninth place. We need this Booyah Black Buzzbait to do us some magic here. All right, that cast was a dub. We're going to go over this way a little bit. Looks like this is where the fish were. 95% cast strength. That's pretty good. All right, lands in the water. Give it a minute. Level 2 retrieval. Start bringing it on back. Lower that rod tip. It's a constant retrieval. If you want to give it a twitch, you can. Oh, my God. Ba bam Oh, that is a perfect strike. That is another big fat bass right there on the Booyah Black Buzz Bait. And, oh, he is it's a feisty one. I wonder if that's, that might not be a bass. He is kind of weird. Oh, that's a bass, that's a bass. Sometimes you might catch a catfish, which is very, very weird. Oh, look at this guy, he's fighting. Come on, stop fighting. That's what Bill Cosby used to say, stop fighting. Oh man, sorry, too soon. I would do a Bill Cosby impression right about now, but I can't. This is Jello Pudding Pops. Is that, I guess that's a Bill Cosby. Here he comes in the boat. Oh, that's a big, fat, green fish. Look at him. It's a largemouth bass. Six pounds, ten ounces on the Booyah buzz bait in black. Put him back, or put him in the boat. And let's get back in there. Oh, man. Look at this. We're just going to keep going. Same spot. We are now in first place with 11 pounds, eight ounces. We're tied with Theo Riley. All right, level two retrieval. Just bring it back towards the boat. We got to catch some extra fish. We can slap Theo Riley in the face. I mean, we do not advocate violence on this channel. Slapping people with fish is not violent. Let me just tell you. Oh, ba bam Oh, right in front of the boat. Look at this guy. Thinks he's going to get away. I don't think so, fishy. Oh, shoot. Boy, he is running. He is pulling hard. Didn't look like a real big fish, but man, he is fighting like one. Sheesh. I'd say it's about a four or five pounder right here. Let's bring him on in. Come on, fishy. Fishy, fishy. You guys remember the McDonald's campaign when they were trying to sell their fish sandwiches? Two for two dollars or whatever it was. Fishy, fishy. All right, this fish is fighting. He's jumping. He's pulling. He is not being very cooperative. Oh, here he comes in the boat. Oh man, that is a beautiful fish. I think they're getting a little bit bigger. That's a nine pound smallmouth bass. That's a huge smallmouth bass, a trophy catch. Look at us. We are kicking everybody's ass. That is a big ass fish. Let's just take a moment to look at how big that fish is. All right, 11 minutes left. We have got a 10 pound lead. I'll tell you what we're gonna do. Let's move the boat. I'll show you where to go. All right, so here's what you're gonna do. You take your boat, turn it around. Do a donut in the water. All right, you're gonna come through and underneath the bridge. And as soon as you're underneath the bridge, you can turn around and you can face this way. And you can fish this side of the bridge. Same thing, you can just cast this right towards the bridge and there are some fish here. Let's see, oh, 100% cast ring. That's pretty awesome. Let's see if we can catch some on this side of the bridge. Same retrieval technique, level to, oh, there's some fish dart net. Oh, look, that's a catfish. See, I told you. I don't know why a catfish would come after this buzz bait. Oh, see, look. Oh my god, ba bam Perfect strike. That fish just came up and took it. He saw that the catfish was eyeing it up and said, no, -uh, catfish. It's all mine. Oh, we got a fish on. This is amazing. This buzz bait is 
actually probably the best bait that we have used in this uh, series or in this season. And it just makes me wonder, once we move up to the Elite Bass Pro, oh, here he comes in the boat. All right, that's a spot. It looks like a smallmouth, not too big. Four pounds, nine ounce smallmouth bass. We'll take him, put him in the boat. All right, we're gonna change it up to the rattle trap. Same kind of area. Let's throw this underneath the bridge here. A 100% cast strength. Here we go. All right, now in this one, kind of let it sink. We're in about seven feet of water. Level two retrieval, just constant retrieve it back. It's gonna stay right in the middle of the water column. It'll fall towards the bottom. You can give it a twitch every now and then. Twitch. Twitch, oh God, poor strike. I did a twitch right as the fish took a bite out of it. Oh boy, he's jumping. Oh boy, we gotta hold on here. We wanna bring this fish in the boat. We do not wanna lose him, but we don't have him hooked real well. And that looks like it's a small mouth. It's a little brown in color. Small mouth bass. Don't know what size he is. Oh boy, right, come on fishy. Come on, fish, you get in the boat. Oh, crap. Oh, we lost him. Oh, boo. That's all right, we'll get back in there. 100% cast strength. And we are going right towards that bridge. Just let that rattle trap start to sink. Count to three, start reeling it back in. Lower the rod tip. It's a constant retrieval. Oh, here we go. Ba bam Oh, perfect strike. Oh, I don't think this is a bass. Sometimes when you use these rattle traps, also happens when you use a swim jig, something that runs along the bottom. Oh man, that is a bass. That is a big old bass. But sometimes when you use these uh, swim baits, rattle traps, swim jigs, and you float them right across, and you float them right across the bottom of the water column, sometimes you will snag a catfish or uh, a gar. Oh boy. Lower the drag a little bit. Do not come off. This is a big fish. Oh my god. Come on, fish. About 36 yards from the boat and he is fighting. Fighting for his life. Little does he know, we're not going to cook him, we're not going to eat him. We're just going to put him in the boat. We're going to use him to make the other fishermen cry. We're going to hold him up. Oh my god. We lost him. Son of a bitch. That was a huge ass fish. Damn it. All right, six minutes left. We got a pretty comfortable lead here. I'm gonna show you one more spot. All right, get in your boat. Look at the map. Come back in this creek. And we got about five minutes and 50 seconds left. We've got about a six pound lead. Pretty confident we can hold on to this lead. And you're gonna come all the way back in this creek. Past all these houses. Don't hit the houses. Wave to everybody. Hey, everybody, how you doing? All right, you come all the way back to this island. Don't touch the island. Just kind of sit right here, right in front of the island. See the island right there? And you're gonna get out, and you're gonna cast to the shoreline over to the left. And we're gonna switch it up to the bubblegum stick worm. 100% cast strength right along the shoreline here. You're gonna want a level one retrieval. Let that bad boy sink all the way to the bottom. And then just start reeling it in. Under five minutes left to go. This is guaranteed to catch us a big fish. All right, we're in about six and a half feet of water. The water gets a little bit, oh, bam, perfect strike. Fish on, fish on. Oh, look at him, he's jumping, he's pissed. He is pissed. He's like, damn it, I thought it was a piece of bubble gum. Instead, it's a trap. Oh man, he's yelling at all his friends. Don't bite the pink worm, it's not real. His friends aren't listening to him. Because fish don't have very good hearing. I read it in a book. And you can look it up if you want to, but trust me, I've read that shit in a book. All right, I didn't read the book online. But the point is, we got a big old fish right here. That's a big one, too. Oh, he's coming in the boat. All right, not that big. I thought it was a lot bigger. But we'll take it. That's a smallmouth bass. Six pounds, ten ounces on the bubblegum stick worm. Awesome. All right, it's time to have some fun. We're up about 10 pounds. We're going back to the Booyah Black Buzz Bait. And we're going to cast this right at the shoreline. 95% cast strength. Pew. All right, level two retrieval. Just start reeling it back in. Lower down the rod tip. Samuel Reynolds in second place. He's nine pounds of fish behind us. That's just sad. All right, that cast was a dud. Let's get back out there. 
100% cast rank. All right, level two retrieval. Just let it sit. Let's start reeling it back. It's the morning time. Morning time's a real good time to use these top water buzz baits, especially down here in Alabama. Level two constant retrieval. You can see the fish swimming up to it. Eventually, they'll bite it. Wow, another 100% cast strength. All right, here we go. Come on, fishy, fishy. All right, we got one minute left. 95% cast strength, level two retrieval. And we are still ahead by eight pounds. Tyler Feaster with 24 pounds. He's in second place. I don't think anybody's gonna catch us. 50 seconds left. All right, these casts are duds. We're gonna keep on trying. 27 seconds left, 97% cast strength. Let's go. Can we catch a fish with 20 seconds left? Probably not. And it looks like we are gonna win round one very, very easily. And when round two starts, we have got another spot to go to. Three, two, one, and there it is. Round one, 32 pounds, four ounces. We are in first place. And uh, once again, we're forced to be reckoned with. No one is even close to how good we are. Look at that. No, nobody's even close to us. I mean, they really should just pack up their stuff and just go home. All right, round two out of three. Same rules, same everything. Same sponsors paying us out all the money. Let's go ahead and get out on the water. Catch us some more fish. All right, here's round two. Three, two, one, go. And you know, we got to look at the map. All right, here's the map. Now we started down at the bottom. Now we're gonna go to the middle boat ramp and I'll show you a nice secret spot from this location. All right, here we are in the middle boat ramp. Let's go ahead and get in the boat. All right, once you get in the boat from this position, just turn to the left. We're gonna kind of turn around here and we're gonna wanna go, whoa. We're gonna wanna go this way. And you'll see the uh, the bridge here. Once again, there's another little bridge. Now you can fish this little bridge. That's fine. But let's go underneath the bridge. Don't crash. And we're going to go up this way. And you see these barges. You can fish in between these two, these barges here. And there are some big mama bass right in here. Actually, right around here. I mean, you can see them in your fish finder. And you can just kind of park your boat right here. And you get out and you face towards this barge here. Cast the rattle trap right towards this barge let's see what happens all right 90 percent cast strength we're going to stay here for about five ten minutes let's see if we can catch any fish and we're going to go to level two retrieval we're in about eight and a half feet of water here and you're just going to reel this bad boy back to you constant retrieval level two. Oh, but bam perfect strike there's a fish on and I'm not sure if that's a bass. You're going to catch some different species here. Some of those long-nosed fish. That is a bass. That is a, that's a bass. But you're going to catch some other species here sometimes. If you look and you see that you have another species on your line, just cut it. Just cut your line and get back in there. Oh, look at that fish. That is a big, big bass. Oh, look at him. He's looking at us. I think he gave us the finger. Oh, he's jumping. He's jumping. Come on in the boat. Come on. Oh, here he comes in the boat. Oh, that's a nice big fat green bass. And let's take a look at him. That is a six pound, two ounce large mouth bass on the rattle trap. The red crawfish. Put him in the boat. Let's get back in there. Cast number two. Same thing. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. Right back here in the water. Front of that barge. 95% cast strength. Pretty good. All right. Let that bad boy sink for just a couple seconds. Just start reeling it back in. Lower the rod tip. If you want to twitch it every now and then, you can... Oh, bam! Another perfect strike. And another big old fish. Well, I can't wait to see what this one is. He seems pretty big. Oh, he's jumping. He's jumping right by the barge. There are some trophy fish hiding back here. This has got to be a big fish. Oh, look at him. Look at how big he is. You can see it. Oh, my goodness. Oh, we don't want to lose him. I got a good feeling about this fish. He is running. He does not want to come in the boat. What can we do to entice him? Oh my gosh, he's running. Now he's 30 yards. He just ran 20 yards away from the boat. That is nuts. This is a big fish. Oh my god, no way. Oh, I cannot believe that. Oh, that sucks. That was a huge fish. We got to get back in there. All right, we are back in the water. Rattle trap. Cast number three. We've got 38 pounds, six ounces of fish. We're, oh, bam! Oh, that is it. Three casts, three fish. 
and this looks like to be another big one. Can we keep them on the line? Boy, these fish are tricky around here. They're big, they're feisty. Wow. Oh, here he comes in the boat. All right, not as big as it feels. It feels like they're fighting a lot harder. It's a four pound largemouth bass, not that big, but we'll put them in the boat. I do want to show you guys another spot. We'll do that when we have about 10 minutes left, but we are going to keep going here with the rattle trap. 100% cast strength. I mean, this rattle trap has worked every cast we've gotten a fish. All right, that was the first cast where we didn't get one. Let's get back in there. 95% cast strength. That is pretty good. All right, let that bait start sinking a little bit. Level two, constant retrieval back to the boat. Oh, bam! Perfect strike. Fish on. Oh, look at that drag. All right, come on. Come on in the boat. Oh, it looks like a big one. That's what she said. Come on. Party's in the boat. Keep lifting up that rod tip. Oh, here he comes in the boat. Oh, that's a bigger fish. Nice, big, fat, green one. That is a beautiful largemouth bass. Five pounds, eight ounces on the red crawfish rattle trap. Let's go. All right, here we go. So just turn around. See this big power plant thing? Where you're going to go towards this, I don't know. Let's just call it a power plant. And there's a little cove right here. If you've watched last season, this is the spot to be in. Just turn your boat around. And you can fish along this bank, along this shoreline here. And these fish in here are humongous. First, we're going to try the bubblegum stickworm. All right, here we go. Bubblegum stickworm. Cast it towards the shore. 97% cast strength. Bam, right up against the shore. It's in about a foot of water. Level one retrieval. And it's just going to start crawling all over the stuff at the bottom. Hopping all over the rocks, the sticks, the bumps, the humps. And the water gets deeper as it comes towards the boat. And all the other fish are looking at it. Saying, what the hell is that? A pink worm? I've never seen a pink worm. Oh, ba bam Oh, perfect strike. Absolutely perfect strike. And this is awesome. Oh, come on, fishy, get in the boat. Here he comes. All right, that's kind of a small bass. It's pretty embarrassing. Not going to lie. That is a 2 pound, 13 ounce largemouth bass on the bubblegum stick worm. We might have to throw him back. All right, let's cast right towards these rocks. 97% cast strength. We're still in the lead by 13 pounds. All right, constant retrieval, slow retrieval. Oh, bam! Perfect strike. There's another fish on the stick worm. And this thing is a fish magnet. This is amazing. That's a nice sized fish there. Oh, look, he's coming by the boat saying hi to us. How you doing? What's happening, Mr. Fishy? Oh, here he comes, right in the boat. All right, another small fish. That is a two pound smallmouth bass on the bubblegum stick worm. Let's switch it up. Five minutes and 50 seconds left. We're going with the Booyah Black Buzz Bait. 97% cast strength, right along the shoreline here. All right, level two retrieval. Here we go. I have caught some seriously large fish in this. Oh, bam! Oh, it's a poor strike. Oh, he's barely on. Oh boy. It's a nice sized fish too. Gotta be careful with them. Let's lower the drag. Oh my God, come on. That is three fish that we have lost. And that is unacceptable. 92% cast strength. Under five minutes left to go. We got 11 pounds of fish in the lead. And we cannot give up now. And we have got to do better. We cannot keep losing fish. Oh, right in front of the boat. Bam, perfect strike. Oh, right in front of the boat. Holy moly. That fish was really aggressive, came shooting out of nowhere, up out of the water. I mean, kind of looked like a whale coming out of the sea. All right, let's get him in the boat. Come on, he's jumping. He's feisty. Here he comes. Oh, man, that's a beautiful fish. That's a 5-pound, 14-ounce largemouth bass on the black buzz bait. All right, here we go. Right back in there. 3 minutes and 20 seconds. 87% cast strength. That's kind of shitty. That's all right, though. We are now only nine pounds in front of second place, and we have got to keep the pressure on here. This is the real deal tournament right here. These guys aren't playing. And that cast was a dud. Let's try it again. 100% cast strength. All right, I'm starting to get nervous, not gonna lie. We got two minutes left, and we are only in the lead by nine pounds. We got the buzz bait coming across the water. All right, nothing on that cast either. Have the fish figured out this buzz bait. Right to the shore, 97% cast strength again. We got one minute left. 
Oh, ba bam! That's a good strike. Not a great strike. Not a poor strike. Just an average strike. We got 20 seconds to get this bad boy in the boat. Here we go. We are going to aggressively pull this guy in. We're going to raise up the drag a little bit. We got 10 seconds. Get him in the boat. Come on to nine, seven, six, five, four. Oh, we got him in the boat. Is it going to count? Oh, it's going to count. That's a big old fish. Round two, 25 pounds, six ounces. We are in first place once again. That is awesome. Right at the last minute, we caught a nice, beautiful fish. And we are now ready for round three. All right, and we are currently still in first place. 57 pounds, 10 ounces of fish. And this round three is going to be tight. Competition is closing in on us. Round three. Three, two, one, go. Here it comes. It's all down to this. And let's take a look at the map. All right, so far we have fished from the bottom boat ramp. We've taken a shot from the middle boat ramp. Now let's go to the top boat ramp. There's only one spot that I know of up here. And now uh, let's go ahead and get out there. I'll show you where it is. All right, here we go. Let's get in the boat. And from here, it's pretty easy. You're just going to take off and go straight. Turn a little bit to the left and you see this rock wall right in front of us. Kind of sit right in the middle of this rock wall, right where it starts to bend, right about here. And just nose up to this rock wall. Turn to the left and see those reeds and like all that stuff down there. We're going to cast right along the edge there. And perfect bait for this is the bubblegum stick worm. Let's go ahead and cast it in there and see if we can't catch ourselves some big old bass. 100% cast strength. Level 1 retrieval. Just let that bad boy sink. It's about 7 feet deep right there. Lower the rod tip just a little bit and constant retrieval back. Alright, that cast was a dud. But don't worry, we're going to get right back in there. Alright, this is a little bit concerning. We're bringing it back to the boat. We have no bites, no takers. And we are now only 4 pounds from 2nd place. And we might have to make a drastic change here. All right, we're going to change it up and go with the rattle trap. And yeah, let's get back out there. And we are now only two pounds in first place. Oh, here we go. Bam! Oh, perfect strike. There's fish. Fish on. Fish on. That's a nice size bass right there. That is a nice size bass. Lower the drag. He is fighting. We've got to be patient with him. Look at how big he is. He can barely jump out of the water. That is not a very athletic fish. He's so fat. Kind of reminds me in middle school gym class. I couldn't barely jump. You know when you have to do the assessment test and everybody would laugh at me. I tried to jump, do jumping jacks. I couldn't. I could jump like two inches off the ground. I wasn't even that fat. Oh my god, come on fish. Come on fish. Don't you come off. It's patience. It's a game of patience at this point and here he comes. We win. Oh look at the size of that toad. That is an absolute giant. An 11 pound, 12 ounce largemouth bass. He's almost as big as us. Come on, let's go. Now that's what I'm talking about. 69 pounds of fish. Well, we should just stop right there, but we're not going to. We're going to get back in this thing. 92% cast strength right on the rattle trap. Checking my notes from my practice round. This spot needs a moving bait. Fish are stacked up against these rocks and they are not just hanging out. They are swimming around looking for something that's moving. All right, that cast was a dud. We're going to get back in there. 100% cast strength. We are awesome. All right, that cast was dud. That's all right, though. Let's keep going. Another 100% cast strength. All right, we're going to try this side of the boat. 100% cast strength. But wouldn't it be awesome if we could win the tournament with 69 pounds of fish? All right, that cast was a dud. I'm going to try and go towards these uh, little reeds and see if that does anything. 97% cast strength. All right, let that bait sink for a minute. Start bringing it back. All right, this spot seems to have dried up. We're going to go with the buzz bait. See if this is going to work. If it doesn't, we might have to move again. 97% cast strength. We're trying the buzz bait now. The rattle trap only brought us in one fish. We've done about 10 casts so far. And Chuck Pippen now in second place. And he is only six pounds of fish behind us. We're going to give this buzz bait about three casts before we decide to move. Oh, oh, look at that fish. Oh, my God. Look at the size of that mama. 
Oh my God. Did you guys see the size? Oh boy. Let's try that again. Did you guys see the size of that fish? Holy moly. There are some big ones right here. Just got to be patient. All right. We have got to catch that big old fish. Under seven minutes to go. Oh, there are some fish following this thing. I see you fishies. Come on. Maybe we need to speed up the retrieval. We only have five pounds of fish now in front of second place. 100% cast strength. All right, level two retrieval. Oh, there we go. Ba bam Oh, that's a good strike. Not a great strike. An average strike. It's not a poor strike. And we have a bass on. Fish on. That is an average fish. It's an average strike. It's an average fish. But we will take any fish that we can get. Looks like a smallmouth. Oh, he's coming in the boat. Oh, there we go. That's a real pretty fish. A nice tan color. That is a spotted bass. Four pounds, 11 ounces. We'll take him. All right, on the buzz bait. Let's get back out there. Under five minutes left to go. Dave Van Dorn? Dave Van Doom? Okay, he's closing in. 97% cast strength. Looks like it's Dave Van Dorn. He has got 66 pounds of fish. We are eight pounds of fish in front. Honestly, if his name was Dave Van Doom, it would be a lot better. That would be pretty cool. Oh my god, ba bam! Oh, that fish just came out of absolutely nowhere. And he's coming in the boat right away. That's oh, a little tiny guy. Looks like a smallmouth bass. Oh, he's two pounds. Isn't he cute? We're going to hold him aside and we might slap Dave Van Doom in the face with him. I don't think he's going to count towards our totals because he's so small. All right, let's throw this bad boy over here. That was a horrible cast. 37%. Really? All right, we're going to throw it over this side. Three minutes left. 97% cast strength. All right, that's not working. It's not working. What are we going to do? Two minutes and 40 seconds left. 97% cast strength. We're still in the lead by eight pounds. Are we going to make it? Now it's Brad Atkins in second place. And look who's in third place. It's John Needle Dick. I mean, it's John Needle. You can't. You don't, don't, don't call him John Needle Dick. That is not nice. You cannot do that have to be sensitive to people's feelings and thoughts under two minutes left to go matt racing now 70 pounds of fish in second place can we pull this off less than two minutes left to go and we have got the black buzz bait we are working overtime here can we win this tournament this is definitely the most pressure that we've had ricky teschendork now he's oh boy we are less than three pounds in first place Less than a minute left to go. Come on. Oh boy, this buzz bay has lost its mojo. 95% cast strength. Come on, 45 seconds left. John Hunter now, 73 pounds, 8 ounces in second place. 25 seconds left. We've got to hold on to this lead. Derek Hudnall now, 73 pounds, 9 ounces. Oh my god, ba bam! Fish came up right beside the boat and took it 10 seconds left. Is this gonna count? This might be the fish that we need. Bring him in. Bring him in really aggressively. Oh, three, two, one. It looks like we're going to win anyway. And that fish didn't count, but we still won round three with 18 pounds, 10 ounces of fish. We only caught three fish, but that 11 pound fish, that's what did it for us. Let's go. Wow, and look at that. First place in the championship, 76 pounds, five ounces of total fish. Derek Hudnall was closing in fast, but we were able to pull this out. And as you can see, round one, round two, we kicked everybody's ass. Round three, I mean, everybody was coming for us. We only had 18 pounds of fish, but we did it. We won the Alabama State Championship. This should be enough to put us ahead to the Elite Bass Tour. Let's find out. Look at that. 500 points. John Hunter finishes second with 469 and we just made $50,000 plus all that money that our sponsors gave us. We gained 2,000 followers. Our net worth now over $800,000. Oh, and there we are. We are the Bass Tour Champion. $50,000 check. Hold it up. There's the big old trophy. Pro Bass Tour Champion. Look at this. Here we go. Hold it up. Don't drop it. Just hold it up. Look at us. Awesome. Well, our season is finished. Congratulations. We finished all the available events for the current season. We can now start a new season. Wow. End of season three in the Pro Tour. $395,491. 
five season wins, five season podiums, five top 10s, five top 25s out of six events. We kicked everybody's ass. 24,800 followers. We are awesome. Season four, the Elite Bass Tour. I can't wait to do this. And we are going to start that in the next episode. Guys, stick with me. Thank you for your support. This is so cool. If you are not subscribed to the channel, please subscribe to the channel. Hit that bell notification so that you're notified of all the content coming out. Thanks for watching this video. And man, we are going to be back in the Elite Bass Tour. And as soon as we finish the Elite Bass Tour, we're going to move on into some predator fishing. Had some, some, some suggestions for some carp, some predator. We're going to expand our horizons. We are going to master every single type of fish in this game. I promise you that. Thanks a lot for watching. Most importantly, thank you so much for letting me be a part of your day. And I'm going to see you guys in the next video.